Greece and its Eurozone partners formally launched talks on July 17 designed to lead to a third bailout program for Athens that could total €86 billion, Euros, .4 billion dollars, over three years. Gerundic Silbloem, chairman of the Eurozone's finance ministers, said the negotiations would take four weeks, although he acknowledged that some call me an optimist. Greece also secured bridge financing of €7.16 billion Euros on the same day for a three-month period to tide it over until the bailout package is agreed. That money will be enough to see it through July, but would not cover payments due in August, notably €3.4 billion Euros due to the European Central Bank on August 20. Greek government spokeswoman Olga Gerovasili said August 20 was the final date for an agreement. Assuming agreement on a new set of reforms were reached by then, it would be likely to signed and ratified by some national parliaments in September. Before that, the International Monetary Fund must produce an updated analysis of Greece's debt sustainability. The IMF has said it can only participate in a program if the country's debt sustainability is assured in the medium term. The ECB's banking supervision arm will conduct a comprehensive assessment of the state of Greece's banks after the summer to determine their capital needs. Up to €25 billion Euros of the proposed bailout are earmarked for bank recapitalization and possible resolution. If a deal is ratified in September, a first quarterly review of Greece's progress and economy would be conducted in December. Eurozone countries have agreed to consider debt relief for Greece in the form of possible longer grace and payment periods once a first review is concluded positively. The following are key dates in Greece's funding talks with its Eurozone partners, the ECB, and the IMF, as well as a list of upcoming payments the Greek government needs to make. July 22, Greek Parliament set to vote on second set of measures demanded by Eurozone partners, after first set on July 17. The demands are for a major overhaul of the civil justice system to judicial process and reduce costs and the transposition in national law of EU rules on bank resolution, including bail-in mechanisms to ensure shareholders and creditors share the costs of a failed bank, rather than taxpayers. 24. Detailed negotiations on third Greek bailout due to open in Athens with experts from the European Commission. European Central Bank and International Monetary Fund.